Developments in our Saving Baby Liberty investigation. The I-Team found out the bi child's biological mother has come out of hiding to meet with attorneys today as the little girl's case is re-examined. And there's more. A wave of nationwide support for Baby Liberty has developed, including an online petition pleading with Judge David Gooding. He is the local judge whose ruling moved Liberty Bell from a safe and loving home to a home we uncovered has a documented history of abuse, a decision the judge now appears to be reconsidering. I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner tells us that petition already has nearly 200 signatures from across the country. Lindsay? And Tom, this afternoon when I saw that petition, I shared it here on my Facebook page. And when I did, it was then shared again by the Guardian Ad Litem's office for Northeast Florida. Now, they represent Liberty's best interest in this case, and they found her to be safe in another family home. And when they shared this petition, they even used the hashtag SavingBabyLiberty. This petition to save 17-month-old Baby Liberty was posted to StandUnited.org today, started by a Virginia woman upset by our I-Team investigation. It is directed to Duval County Judge David Gooding, hoping for a 1,000 signatures. The goal, to help show public support to move Liberty Bell out of the home Judge Gooding, DCF, and her biological parents placed her in with her father's family, a home the I-Team found has a documented history of abuse. Liberty's biological father, Bradley Hornback, seen here waving to our camera in court, was arrested this week on charges related to beating Liberty's mother, Davida Phillips. She talked to us today if we agreed to hide her face because she is still worried about her safety. I just want to do the best thing for my baby. That's all. I really, I'm not even looking at it from my point of view because this is very dangerous for me. Mm -hmm. I'm caring about Liberty. She's come out of hiding with Bradley now in jail to tell her attorney what she's already told the I-Team. She only consented to sign Liberty over to Bradley's family because she was in fear of her own life. That abuse allegation is why Judge Gooding agreed to reopen the case this week, just a few days after our story aired. Abuse is a very bad cycle. It affects you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Sometimes you do things that you don't want to do because you feel it's your only option at the time. Right now, Liberty's uncle, Christopher Hornback, has custody of her. We found the very day that he and his wife, Shauna, were awarded Liberty, Christopher had an outstanding active warrant for his arrest tied to domestic violence on Shauna. She told police he was increasingly violent and had a history of domestic violence. We also found he was arrested for making threats on a previous girlfriend, telling police she's going to get it while armed with a razor. Tonight, she hopes the publicity is helping Liberty. They're under a microscope now. If anything happens, they're going to regret it. So it's actually helping kind of put bubble wrap around her. Davida Phillips shared her story and gave her testimony to two attorneys today, which does help to move this court process forward. We do not know, though, if it's enough for Judge Gooding to reverse his decision, but we will continue to follow these developments. Mary.